All right, Jack, can you talk us through your deployment, limited as it is? The Congo line of Hive Guard, the Broodlord, who's going to rush forward with the Gene Steelers, the Death Leaper in his uh, hidey hole where he's going to pop out and murder your Warlord and end the game as quick as possible. <laughs> He's so confident. I am not in the slightest. So, I just so have confident. to keep it this way because otherwise I lose complete faith in myself. That's why I keep trash talking. It it just it it helps me keep my mind clear. Okay, and Andy, what are the orcs doing? Um, so they are set up uh, following the age-old analogy of the best form of defense is a good offense. <laughs> We are set up in classic crumping style right at the front of our deployment zone. Yeah. So we've got the boys, we've got the grops, we've got his mega knobs, we've got the war boss who is the target, and around here we have the Mega Track Scrapjet. That's the one. Um, excellent. So as the attacker, Tyranids get to choose who goes first. Tyranids. Big shock. <laughs> big, big shock. As we move. Back round one, Tyranids, turn one, we'll come back once the movement's done. So, Jack, what was what, 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 what? Gene Steelers and Broodlord for the jet car. Death Leaper is going to sneak up and stab, stab, stab. Hive Guard are going to kill one of these guys, hopefully, and then shoot that guy to bits. <laughs> add hopefully on the end of that as well. Add hopefully. And hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to say add hopefully. Right, first of all, though, psychic phase. What is the Broodlord doing? They don't need line of sight. Catalyst on... Catalyst on the Gene Stealers makes it. Smite, which will go on the jet truck. Yeah, that's definitely closer. Uh, goes off. D3, though, because it's not an 11 or a 12. One damage. Puts him down to eight. Nice. And um, we'll get some dice together, do some shooting. Hive guard. Shooting into the Mega Knobs. Mega Knobs. Hitting on threes. How tough are your knobs? Toughness five. We're only on threes. That is three at AP minus two. How much health do three, they have? Four ups, and they have three wounds each. Oh, I did, sorry. Okay, just. Ooh. Make one. Any command points to spend? Roll one. Hmm? You can only re-roll one. Narrative play, you can use the same strategy more than once. Oh, we've never done that. Yeah. Okay, cool. They two go through anyway. Roll one at a time. One wound. Two yes. wounds. One has died. And then I pay two command points to shoot again. Time to shoot your big oh, wait, Does that technically mean he could then shoot. spend two command points to shoot again after this? Yes. <laughs> if we no, I don't think you can keep stacking it on the same unit. Like I can't don't think you can reshoot, 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 reshoot. Okay. Because take a we We'll come right back. Shooting again. Right. At the wall Oh, this is going to the okay. wall now. Right. Just wait a second. <clears throat> you're at minus one you're at minus one to hit. Uh -huh. Um for a start. So hit on uh, fours. Okay. Yep. Is that so? Yeah, roll your hits. Three hits. When you're on threes, one wound. I pay a command point to re-roll this one. Okay. And I also pay the other command point. Three wounds at AP minus duh. Okay, so da, 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 I'm at a four up save. How much? How many wounds? But Just I can get to add that. one to armor save, so I'm not a three up save. One goes through. How many wounds do you have? Seven. Now you have four. <laughs> or you have a feel no. Oh, you got your six up, feel no pain because of this, the actual mission. Excellent. Uh, yeah, the war boss, because he has less than 10 wounds starting, gets a six up, feel no pain for just being part of the mission as we move into the hungry phase. He still is into the, uh, oh, the that car. That track, track there. And they're in. We'll get them moved up in just a second. And Deathly Purr. Nine inch charge. Come on. Eight. Ah! And you used all your command points to re-roll stuff. So he's boned. <laughs> and we'll get the uh, gene steers moved up. Four attacks into the car, hitting on twos because they're within six inches of the broodlord. Ooh, nice. Here we go. Fives and sixes. 
five and six is five and six is five and six is that's a six. That's, that's not as good as I was expecting. So that's three saves at minus one. How many wins does it have? One of them. So now it's down to six and then down to seven. I mean, what is it? Two damage. That, that, those were two, one damage each. Yeah. So, oh, right, yeah, yeah. 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 And then the other one's two mm -hmm. um, at AP minus four. Okay. So two at AP. That's two damage, is it? Yes. Cool. So he's down to four. Yeah. Cool. Right. Now he can fight back. D3 Dang. more. Takes D3 mortal wounds for two. That's, oh, two catalyst on them. Oh, yeah. Two five up, feel no pains. One dies. I'll just take this yeah. guy from the side. How many actual attacks has he got? Four. Nice. You there. There's four attacks with his nose drill. Hit on fours. Two hits. Toughness four. These are strength eight. <laughs> Twos. <laughs> Jack, two five up and vulnerable saves. Both go through. Oh, Jack, how many damage each? D3 each. Okay, so two and one. So two five up feel no pains against the first one. One dead gene stealer. And then one against the other one. That's it. Wow. Excellent. So that was interesting. So what we've had so far is one knob dead. Wounded the car and the war boss and left your broodlord exposed you've exposed He's your broodlord yeah but you couldn't get him far enough back to be within three inches of him to provide lookout sir and still be within coherency otherwise you'd been losing guys ah. sorry bud as we move into orc turn one andy what's happened right so we've uh, moved the war boss towards the impending First target. <laughs> uh, we've moved the mega knobs up towards the slightly exposed broodlord over there, along with the grots, because you never know. Yep. And the boys are just going to come back here to reinforce and just uh, crowd control a little bit. But they're going to they're watch the, the boss crump the boys, something. Yes. yes. And still in combat. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Not much you can do about that. The dead combat. Yeah. Okay. Right. Shooting phase. Mm, Daka phase, I feel. Yeah. We should call it really. No. I'll just let him have a think. First Daka happening. He's going to fire into combat. Three yeah, vehicles. His wing missile hits on a five. Hits. This is strength eight. Two's to wound. Wounds. Is minus two, three damage. So five up in vulnerable save, first of all. With a flourish, apparently. Goes through three, five up, feel no pains. And one gene stealer dies. <laughs> Lots of dice rolls for one person to die. Then we've got the twin big shooter. Ten shots, hitting fives. Daka, daka, daka. Daka, daka. There we go. One, two, three hits. Strength five. It's pretty good for orcs. Yeah. Strength five, wounding on. Threes, their toughness four. Two wounds. Two five up, invulnerable saves, Jack. What's your end dice? <laughs> I'm glad you're dying now. Doesn't matter. <laughs> no. right. Two five up, feel no pains. No. Two gene stealers die. Why are you putting yourself out of combat? Safety. All right. Well, the shooting you got. Right. Is that? Is he done? He is done. So, war boss. War boss is going to fire his big shooter. Excellent. Into the death leaper. Why? It's funny. And it has got a grot gunner, so he hits fours. Mm, minus one. Oh, it's chameleon. Two nice. hits. Only made difference with one, but it made a difference. These are strength five. Toughness of Death Leaper. Four. Four. Two wounds at any AP. AP dash. Two five up saves. Okay. Because uh, his save is awful. 
That's why I think I should give him some armor. Takes two wounds. How many you got left? Four. Oh, oh dear. Um, now, anyone out there wants to clarify, we advanced, these guys, they only advanced an inch. Daca weapons, assault or not, we're treating them as such because we're not sure, but internet, uh, if anyone out there can help, Daca weapons, assault or not, you know, let us know. Uh, where you go next? So, we're going to go with the two Mega Knobs, going to fire their rockets into Das Broodlord. Indeed. Das so they have two rocket launchers. Nice. Here we go. So these are heavy D3. So how many shots we get? Nice. Five. five. Oh boy. Five shots. Hitting on fives. Two hits. Two nice. hits. Strength eight. Winning on threes. Ooh, You've how got many one. Wounds has the Broodlord got? Six. Two wounds, five up in vulnerable saves. One goes through. Three damage. Oof. <laughs> Last cannon. Well, we'll see. Right. Got to yeah. fire that cannon first. Fire that cannon for Briggs. The blasphemy of the Tyranids is such that only one solution is acceptable. Nine grots. Yeah. Nine grots. Oh, this will be interesting. Let's sort these dice out too, so. Here comes the grots. Hitting on fours. Because grots are better at shooting, but. Oh, that was. Mm, that wasn't great. Three hits. Strength three. We have fives. One, one four win. up save. He's all good. So. And he doesn't bracket either. Hey, As we move. No, my guy's bracket. I know, I just said that. Yeah, God, uh, listen. Uh, ah. As we move into the crumping phase. Uh, <laughs> can't, can't quite deal with that. He's going to charge them. He's going to charge him. Uh, they're going to charge here. Excellent. Can we start? With, yeah, because the um, Jack, when he got basically got shot, decided to put himself out of combat. So now he is available to be charged. So let's do that one first. You need to get at least a double one. Oh, look. Ah. Do you want to go? Well, I'll let you move him in a sec. You can probably fit all the way around, can't you? Yeah. And he's going to plow into him. Imagine if I rolled a D6 and got that. And ooh, I think you've got at least a four inch charge here. We'll check it if you're wrong. Ooh, two seconds. Mega knobs are charging. Seven inches. They're in. Ah. Uh, <sighs> this is going to be really, really painful to watch. This is going to be so painful to deal with. You are... Not in a good position. No, I would have taken the winged hive tyrant against this lot, but, you yeah. know. And the grots are charging the uh, brood lord. <laughs> he, he can't interrupt, so you have to attack with them first. Eight inches. Yep. They're in. <sighs> If he kills me with tiny little... I know, bits, that's what I mean. Right, we'll be back in just a sec. This is about to happen. Ten grots are going to be beat up a broodlord. Possibly. We'll see. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> I can't look. Ten attacks. Ten attacks. Fives. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be worse. Toughness of broodlord. Uh, Very quickly. Five. Wounding on fives. One Wound. four up save. How much damage is this? Just one. one. It's just one. He takes a wound though. <laughs> Stabbed him in the toe. Right, <laughs> right, where would you like to go next? Do you want to finish off the brood lords? Yeah, let's go with the mega knobs. Time for the mega knobs. We'll get some dice together. Here we go six attacks. Hit on threes because of shenanigans. Four hits. Yep. These are strength ten. Twos to wound. All of them wound. At AP minus three. Five Two up in vulnerable saves. Piece. You need to make all four five up in vulnerable saves. Oh, and you got no command points to try and help. And Perhaps no. So it is two damage then. Flat two damage a piece. Yes, that's all he needed. Ah, oh, and no if, command if points that, to attack again. If, the, if those squads hadn't existed, <laughs> actually, yeah, 
<laughs> Didn't even twig to that for a yeah. second. MVP Grots. MVP Grots. Um, can they get experience? Oh, I don't see why not. That's right. going to be hilarious. Yeah. So we'll do some movement, uh, consolidating, and then we'll come back. Comes the car. So, using the spiked ram, four up will cause D3 mortal wounds from the charge. Yep. It does. So, D3 mortal wounds. The three mortal wounds. Three five up fill no pains from Catalyst, which thankfully still lingers. One gene stealer dies. Blink. And then the actual attacks. Four attacks. I'm just slowly surrounding this one day. Hitting on fours. Ugh. Four four attacks. Two hits. These are strength eight. Wounding on twos. Yes. Two wounds at minus two D3 damage. Two five up in vulnerable saves. Two go through. So hang on, first one does. One, so roll. So just roll two five up. <laughs> one dead. One dead. No, one five, five up. Yeah, one, yeah, one dead. Yeah. I didn't say two dead, I said one dead. <laughs> okay, then war boss. Right. No. Please, sir, five. Okay, war boss. Warboss time. We need to get a lot of dice together, bear with. Here we go. Warboss is about to kill Ooh, the Death Leaper. Uh, the crushing armor. After the bearer makes a charge move, uh, you can select an enemy unit within one inch of it and roll a d6. And a two up, the unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. <laughs> well, a two up. Uh, oh, you got <laughs> one. Never mind. You hear that confidence in the background? Watch it disappear. Everything hits. Uh, th that's good for orcs, right? That's good, that's, that'd be Combat, it's war. pretty standard. So he takes six wounds. Five up saves? Can we still get that? No. AP minus three. And off camera, that means we had an agreement and he gets a can of Coke. Yes. And Jack has to go and get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go over to the Gene Stealers who will fight back. He's hitting on threes. Wounding on fives. As well. If I get all of these, I won't, I won't watch me as hat. Oh. Okay. Two saves at minus one. Just one damage each. Yo. I've made at least one of those. Let me just double check his armor save. Yep. And it's four up, so at minus one. So, yep. Yep. Takes one damage. Puts him down to three. Oh dear. Oh and, dear. And um, <clears throat> now you uh, take. D3 mortal wounds on a four up. Because he's got electricity running through his hull. Which, you no. Do not. That would have been hilarious. So that was Orc turn one, right? Yes. As we move into battle round two, Tyranid turn two, let's see what they can do. <laughs> We're going straight into shooting phase. Hive guards are targeting the war boss. This could end things. Two hits. Any rerolls there? Uh, yeah, I'll do a reroll. Three hits. Wounding on threes. Uh, what were you hitting? Uh, fours. This is minus one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, strength eight. So I'm guessing that's three wounds at minus two. Cool. So tense now. Two. So tense. Jack is all over the place, stressed. Yeah, at least two of these to make it. Minus two plus one, so threes. One goes through. For one damage. Oh, oh, Jack. The last hurrah. Not enough. Well, no command points left. And in your combat phase. Car goes first. Here we go, four attacks. Hitting on fours. Oh. One hit. Wounding on a two. Dead. Wounds. Five up in vulnerable save. One dead gene stealer. Yep. They haven't got a catalyst anymore, so it doesn't matter how many, that much damage. Cool. So six attacks back, Jack. On threes. Three hits. Wounding on fives. Oh, he fell over. So that's 
two damage at AP minus four, and that's one damage at AP minus one. I could kill the thing. Saved. So he takes two, and then does he do the lightning thing again? He does. Four up. Yep. Does the lightning thing. And three you... more wounds. And two, two dead gene stealers. They have no longer have their... They electrocute themselves, stabbing into the vehicle, and it stays alive. As we move into Orc, turn two. What happened here, Andy? Well, the uh, war boss has definitely not cowardly nor tactically run back towards his troops. <laughs> um, because he's getting tired of being shot by someone he can't <laughs> see because that's not proper fighting. No. <laughs> and um, the... Mega Knobs and the Heroic Grots, along with the Scrap Jet that's somehow still alive, <laughs> are uh, making their way towards the um, I've got Hive Guard at the back there. Oh dear. So, on to shooting. Yes. <laughs> the Grots are shooting the Hive Guard. They're taking the Grots to Hive. Ten shots. No. Missed, 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 missed. Five hits. Fifty percent. Perfectly average. Two wounds. Not perfectly average. Two. Four up saves, I believe. Ha! Two wounds. One's down to one wound. Brots can't even kill a hive guard. That was still funny, though. <laughs> That's the only reason we did that first. I know. Because it was funny. You always do these things. Do you know why? Because it's funny. There we go. What are we shooting now? Megatrack scrap jet. Ooh, that's a lot of dice you've lined up there. It is. So, uh, let's do the twin big shooter first. It's within half range. Yep. So, ten shots. Daka, 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 daka. Hitting on fives. Uh, Note these are hitting on fours. That makes quite the difference there. As it's got a grot gunner. Yep, so. went from three hits to seven hits. He's a straight five. Winning on fours. Three saves, Jack. AP. AP zero. Three four ups. One dead, one on one wound. It's worth Just moving it. down the conga line. Yep. And conga, we've got conga, a conga. wing missile. Here we go. Which is a one shot hitting on a five. It hits. It hits. It is strength eight. Threes. Wounds. AP. Minus two. One six up save, Jack. Three one, damage. The one on one wound is dead. Then, what else has he got? Then he has got his rocket cannon, <laughs> which is heavy 3d3. Oof. Uh, two. Six. Six shots. Hit on fives. Three hits. Nice. Strength eight. Two wounds, AP. Minus two, three damage. He, he dead. Ah, now this, now this one goes even more screwed. At the end of that game, the Tyranids did not do very well at all. And that gives you 50 victory points to Jack's 20 because he wounded your Warlord twice. Sorry, 60 because you also killed something with your Warlord. Whew. This one off is very screwed, though. So. Okay, Jack. Are you, do you want me to point out the difference in how much stuff died? <laughs> yeah. There we go. I reckon, Jack, your Winged Hive Tyrant would have been better if yeah. you'd taken out the uh, car... Um, straight away, then your gene stealers could have got involved elsewhere, and they just whipped around. The hive tyrant could have literally flown down and charged your warlord. Yes, he could have deep deep strike in turn one and cut him into tiny little pieces. Yeah. Possibly, possibly, we don't know. So there we go. Uh, that is the end of the second game of this crusade. Next game coming up is Tau versus Orcs. That's going to be a little bit different. We'll be playing the last of the three missions from the first lot, which is Sweep and Clear. Uh, but we'll talk about that more in the next game. Happy Wargaming. See you soon.